need their experienced leaders to step up. They have six players drafted in Major League Lacrosse, but some of the best players are also juniors. You're not relying on freshmen and sophomores, but you're experienced players. Rambo trying to get it to Heacock, who he just attempted to get, to get Connor Kelly on that first midfield group. And, and Connor Kelly is a dual threat type midfielder. And there's a shot now from Rambo, and he'll is a slasher. And it's that slight pick right there that gets his hands free. Almost brings the ball too low. Look as Malloy gets a shoulder on it, but he's too close. Tournaments. It's been remarkable what they've done. Flag flies here as Rambo gets it and a shot put on that time by Isaiah Davis Allen. But Rambo is bringing it today. He's getting to the point in the field, and again, the hold there is his hands are separated and they get high. It's going to be what's called a cross check hold. And for a player like Rambo, it's not going to work if you're high. You have to be at hip. For Rambo. Under three minutes, first quarter. And now a bouncer on the way by Greninger. Checked by Joe Gillis. Up top, Rambo. And he comes back there to NCAA.com, the official online home for all 90 NCAA championships. Maryland, Rambo in front, spinning, shooting, and scoring! It all starts with Heacock behind the net, getting the step, a nice skip, accurate pass. Rambo to Maltz on the inside. Not an easy shot for Maltz. Now you can see on the off the screen he's low. Now he's stepping up the field. That creates angle, but it also so protects, protects the stick. In the last 15 minutes. And on the transition. Again, the feet in front. Rambo this time, and it was loose. Second midfield group in for the Terps. Rambo. Off the pick. Merrill likes to call their midfield lines the red and gold line, not even the one and two. That's how you know, talented the group that they have, Matt, and it doesn't really matter sometimes who's in there. Rambo able to scoop up this ground ball, then he lost a stick. Take it away, here comes Brandon Mullins for Syracuse. Mullins, a defenseman, gets it to Donahue. Crowd wanted a shot there. And Syracuse has fallen back into his zone again, and so look for Maryland to be patient, moving it outside the perimeter. There they go. Good play in front for Rambo on the pass from Brian Cole. Heacock dodge up top. And now we have players in the wrong place and Matt Rambo opportunistically takes it underneath. And look here again, it's that extra step. It's the dive as the goal, and we can really see here, look how much more shooting angle he now has as he pushes the middle of the field. But again, that... There we go. Rambo. And mauled, lost the ball and take it away, and that's how the first half is going. Working with Greninger on the pick behind the cage. Brandon Mullins is on Rambo this time, gets in front, the extra help coming over from Tom Grimm. Mullins and it's tipped out and it's going to stay with the Terps. Game two here today for a doubleheader in the quarterfinals and the two matchups tomorrow at Ohio State. Shot again from Rambo. A dangerous place and a scary place for Syracuse to be on the defensive end. That's a good point. Rambo feeding from behind the net. Kelly. Rambo turns and fires for the goal. How did he get drives up the side and again Kelly gets the pick and all it takes is you see how he has to run under the screen and look how important where the screen is set. That under now goal line I can shoot. So if you set that screen lower behind, behind the, the cage, cage that's the shooting 39% in this game. Rambo again, yeah, now they'll bring two guys out on them. Not gonna let that happen again. Kelly flips it back for Rambo. Now they're in a dangerous place as he's got the goal, he's got Mullins hung up. Mullins to the pick. 
And again, if I'm, I'm Maryland, I'm, I'm holding this possession here until they put the stall on, or sorry, the shot clock. And there it is. And again, the flexed in front, Malloy 